Greetings, this is the Bolt Handling Guy. Today we'll talk about the position of the engine in the Olds Elevator. This is basic mechanics of the Olds Elevator Part 2. Let's go. Let's talk about the engine, the position of the engine in the Olds Elevator. In this occasion, you can either have the engine midway, halfway the tube, let's say, or either at the top of the old elevator. The strong point uh, regarding uh, an engine in this position is that you have the weight of the engine much lower, which makes the whole machine more stable. It's easier for maintenance. You can you have easy access to the to the engine. But on the other hand, as a negative point, let's say you have you will require to have two bearings in order to counter the pull effect of the engine. So mechanically, let's say, uh, when it comes to uh, construction, it's more complicated, it's more expensive if you have the engine in this position. Here what we have is an old elevator with the gear motor at the top of it. And what we have is a much less complicated, much less complex machine because the, the shaft of the rotating tube uh, is, uh, goes through the gear so when it is turned uh, you don't require any special bearing but the bearing of the gear itself but on the other hand as, uh, as a weak point we could say it's, uh, you have a lot of weight at the top of the observator which makes uh, requires that you fix it correctly uh, to the ground. Having to drive at the top then it makes much easier the, the tube is more much more centered and you don't require a lot of bearings but just some uh, centering wheels let's say very easy very inexpensive uh, centering wheels and you'll have the tube rotating very smoothly and well centered. This is all for now. This is the basics of the old elevator. If you have any questions, any part that you would like us to touch upon and give a more uh, deeper insight into it, uh, let us know in the comment section below. Share with your colleagues and friends and we hope to see you soon.